through the National Education Nature Park, schools, nurseries and colleges can identify pieces of land within their own grounds and use them to improve biodiversity. Pupils and students can get active and enhance their skills by growing new trees and plants, creating new wildlife habitats and learning about the importance of nature and a balanced ecosystem. By taking part and leading change in their community, schools, nurseries, colleges and students can earn credits that count towards a new, prestigious Climate Leaders Award. If we care about our common future, we all need to appreciate the infinitely beautiful tapestry of nature's processes and forms and how we depend on them. The National Education Nature Park will engage young people with the natural world, involve them directly in increasing biodiversity on their school estate and develop important skills, such as biodiversity mapping, data collection and analysis. The Climate Leaders Award will allow us to celebrate and recognize schools, colleges and individuals who work to rediscover their connection with nature and help to establish a sustainable future for us all. I think a Climate Leaders Award would have a huge, huge impact on having that real drive and that inspiration for, for young people to get involved in the climate even more so than they already are because any common misnomers regarding children and young people not caring about the environment, the planet and the world they live in um, are completely and utterly wrong. They do, they are highly passionate and they want to make genuine differences. We are right at the back of our woodland now and we are standing in front of what? A dead wood pile which helps our invertebrates, our insects in the woods like stand beetles. This helps to support them and give them a home. The environment is so important because we've only got one opportunity to make this world right. I believe one of the first steps is to stop overindulgence and buying too many things that aren't necessary. We could create an app in order to make sure you see the carbon footprint of your products and be able to make a second decision on whether to buy it or not. It's more important than ever that every young person can take part in the collective effort needed to restore and protect the biodiversity around them. And that's our mission here at the Natural History Museum to create advocates for the planet. And we know once young people are inspired to engage with nature around them, they're far more likely to want to care for it and to look after it. And we're really excited about this opportunity to support nature recovery with young people, developing their scientific skills to monitor and ultimately to enhance the biodiversity around them. And we're particularly excited to be working with the Department for Education team to reach every child in every school to form a lifelong connection with science and with nature.